I'm Pro Barnes, I'm head teacher of Newport School in Leighton, London. We're a large school serving approximately a thousand children and recently we've been on a journey of taking our school from being in challenging circumstances to one of the leading education institutions in the country. The staff are hard-working individuals committed to developing themselves as professional beings and we recognise that the majority of our delegated budget is spent on the employment of staff. So we have taken the attitude that we must invest our greatest amount of resources in developing and enhancing the work of our staff team. Our approach to professional development is to focus on each individual practitioner and what their unique needs are with modelled best practice, mentoring and coaching being available on site at point of need for all staff. Every member of staff has a mentor. Every member of staff is videoed, working with their children in real life situations. All members of staff own that technology. They take it home, they watch it, and then they bring it back to work and discuss it with their mentor. Do you think that was a problem or...? Um, what I should have done was I should have checked in the dictionary first to make sure that the word was there and mm -hmm. that the meaning was clear. I'm mentoring three uh, people at the moment, and two from my school, one from another, another school. We, we meet on a weekly basis and we uh, have developed an action plan based on individual need. This is the first year of doing it, they've never had a class before and so they won't know what to expect. And when they link up with somebody who's, who's more experienced, they're learning off them. But you've really thought about those extension tasks. It's not yeah. just a, a time filler. It's something that they go, it will really make them think and be able to progress. My name is Matthew Pereira and I'm an NQT here at, N at Newport Primary School. Uh, we've been studying on the course, the NQT training course, since September. Uh, there's several features that I found particularly useful, such as the videoing, um, which allows me to see myself as a teacher, because you get to see what the children are seeing. Um, and sometimes that can really illuminate aspects of the teaching that you wouldn't have otherwise been able to notice. Any other thoughts? By allowing people to focus on their areas of development in a safe and transparent way, we're giving them the tools of self-reflection, we're giving them the tools of being able to own their development as a really positive and empowering way of enhancing their work as educators. What you guys do every day with each individual child makes a phenomenal difference. Coming here and having the space to communicate with the other NQTs, so sharing any difficulties we have with them, seeing if we've got the same problems, the same difficulties, and also having advice on anything, not just the teaching and learning, but the day-to-day -day problems we might have. Sometimes you're not sure if you're doing the right thing. It's just nice to have that space every week to come share with the rest of the class and also have advice from someone professional. The course is invaluable to developing confidence and um, the ambition to achieve best practice. Um, but most importantly, I've seen masses of improvement in terms of the reflective nature of teaching and, and developing into lifelong learn learners. The breadth and the relevance of the course is um, going to set these NQTs up for a really successful career. Education at this current time is challenging for all of us. It's challenging because of the advances in technology that we're desperately trying to keep up to date with. It's challenging because of the economic hardship that the world is facing. And it's challenging because there are growing demands on our children as the world grows and develops. Mentoring with a colleague, discussing your practice through the use of technology has been instrumental and key to the success of our school. Where there are gaps, they're addressed. Um, where there are concerns, they're talked about. Um, and all those opportunities feed into the course, so it's a really relevant um, and a very worthwhile experience. By focusing on being in dialogue about each individual we know collectively we make a stronger staff team. I'd like to uh, take this opportunity to welcome anybody who's interested in learning more about our school or possibly to visit and to see our work in practice to contact us at www.
newportschool.org.uk. We really look forward to welcoming you into our school. Thank you.